to all of you who have subscribed to this channel, thank you, it's much appreciated. And to any of you that haven't subscribed yet, it would be much appreciated, thank you. Now what I want to talk to you about today is page numbering using Canva. And it's a really a continuation of um, the Creating a Children's Book series that we're doing at the moment. So let's have a little look at it. Now you don't necessarily have to have numbers uh, in a children's book. And children will just flick through, flick through, and an adult will flick through and through. But it's, it's handy. It gets them used to the fact that there are numbers in pages, usually. And um, they get to locate certain things. A child will, will probably have an idea straight away. They'll just open a book. And it's like magic. They find whatever it is they're looking for. Um, a lot quicker than we could in some cases and um, without numbers but numbers help them to see how books are structured and it's good for the adult it's good to find something specific in a book it's on page whatever and um, so yeah we're going to add the numbers right so the first thing we do is we get the text and we use the small text here and we'll go even smaller than that it doesn't have to be much for a page number. You don't want it to interfere with the story. You won't have a page number on the title page. You won't have it on a copyright page or a contents page or an acknowledgements page or any other page other than the start of the story. And that goes with books with chapters. It would be page one would be at the start of chapter one. Uh, no other pages. So, however many pages you've introduced the book with, none of those have page numbering. Now, you can, use, you can use letters or you can use Roman numerals or whatever you want to um, put the copyright page or the acknowledgements or the introduction or whatever it is that you want into the contents page, you know, at the start, if, if that's the way you want to do it. But some people just don't bother. If I pick the text, which I have there, and I put page one, write that however you like, just put one, put page one in uh, with no, no numbers. You put it in the corner, like I say, you can't put it on the title page, but you can put it, or you should put it, on the first page of the story. Now, the first page with this story happens to be page two here in Canva, which is the left hand side of the book. As it opens, the page number would be in the top left-hand corner, uh, the bottom left-hand corner. So there's nothing interfering with the binder. So you've not got any numbers down at the bottom of the binder. And the idea is to keep the numbers up at the tops. So that happens to be, page one happens to be that page. So we copy that, paste, and we move that into the right-hand corner and we put page two and we just make sure that's set there inside that frame just to give us a an idea you can really put it wherever you want center it or anything tops bottoms whatever but i happen to be doing this this way so we've got page one opening this way so the numbers at the top and page two at the bottom right hand corner which is this one so it's again at the top keeping the numbers at the top and the corners of the pages Again, you can put it in the middle to save all that if you wish, if you wanted to. Um, but I like to put them in the corner here. You can, like I say, you can just put it straight back, straight bang in the middle there. And you've not got that issue. Either way, we could say that a double page spread is one page. But you couldn't have just page one on a double page spread. It would confuse the child because as they fold that page, this hasn't got a number on it. And they go straight to two. It doesn't matter what the image is. He's better off keeping them um, familiar with the idea that one, two, three, four, it all follows. You don't skip a page. So one, two, and so on. So this double page spread has two page numbers. Right, so we've got that set up there now. So I want to go to page one again, copy, and I'll move it down because this is page three. 
and I'll change the number on that. Now it's putting it exactly in the right spot because I've copied and pasted it. But it's always worth just checking that it fits in that corner. And copy page two and move down to page four. And that's page four and so on. And we'll go right through the book like that. Now if you hit on a patch that's a, a dark background, you can just change the color of the text just to make it stand out. Rather than it just being black and looking like there's no page number, I like to make sure that there's a page number visible. And if you didn't want it to stand out too much, give it a gray. Just give it enough for it to, to show. It doesn't have to be bright white. That's about it. So we'll go right through all the pages, putting the numbers in. And then I'll go back to here to share, download, PDF print, touch nothing else, and download to your file. And that's ready for uploading to KDP or whatever else you've got it set up.